fair collaboration, fair participation, it's okay. The, the basic of this talk is uh, there's not a lot of mathematics in this talk uh, because uh, it's an invitation. It's an invitation to actually focus your attention on something that is uh, very present in this moment uh, and that is, has not been studied in a formal way so far. And I think uh, after I studied uh, a little bit about uh, fair division uh, in uh, about one year ago and I followed a course uh, from uh, Ulle and, uh, and then I went on and, uh, and I kept on thinking about it and I started thinking that uh, fair participation is uh, somehow related uh, to, to fair division. So what do I mean by fair participation? Well, here is a Wikipedia and uh, you all know what Wikipedia is uh, and you I assume not only all of you have used it, but uh, probably all of you has actually participated in Wikipedia, wrote uh, some of your, uh, some, some elements that you knew about more than other people. Uh, what maybe not everybody knows is that, of course, if you have uh, more, more time, you can slowly become an editor, and then you can actually start to have a little bit more power than other people. At some point, you even can change the, um, uh, you even can change what other people have done without it appearing in the history. So somehow there is some, uh, there, at some point uh, the, there is not a lot of uh, fairness uh, in, the, in the way in which it works, in the sense that people who have a lot more time can actually end up having a lot more power in the way in which it works. Uh, but but uh, nevertheless, it's, uh, it's considered to be the best uh, representation, the best uh, system in the terms of, uh, of collaboration with a lot of people collaborating together. Here is another one, uh, and it's called User Voice. Uh, is, uh, it, this is actually, uh, it, this is actually a company, and they offer to make a feedback, to, to get feedback from people uh, about uh, about a particular company. You have a company, you say you want to have a feedback about it, they get all the various feedback, and they ask people to vote on the feedback. So for example, we are doing that right now a workshop. You would like to know how is this workshop going. Each of us can write their, their feedback and each of us can actually vote on the feedback of the other. Now notice something. There is uh, There are two sections. You can have uh, the new ideas. As the new feedback enters, people can vote on them, and so this is slowly flowing. And on the other side, you have the top ideas, the ones that have been voted more. Now, at some point, uh, the, this becomes uh, so big that you actually have to have new pages, and at some point, people will actually not look into the new pages uh, anymore. So, uh, so eventually, you will reach the point where the, where the, the most old of the new ideas will not have enough votes uh, to answer into the, into among the top ideas. So eventually there will be some sort of gap and the ideas will eventually be split between the one that are in the top and the one that are the new. So they tried to make it better and they actually put the hot ideas. This is essentially by looking at the first, uh, first derivative. I am looking at the, the, the feedback that are growing very, very fast and if I find enough, I put them over here and this is like having some sort of bus that goes from one side to the other. You can go further, you can put the, uh, the second derivative with the explosive ideas, uh, and maybe even the third derivative, and so on, but you're essentially you're patching a system that doesn't work. Uh, here is a third one. This one is a mixed ink. It's, uh, this was actually employed, this also is a company, this was employed by the uh, Obama administration to get feedback about, uh, about the government, and uh, so they they asked, uh, they opened this with OpenGov, and they, were, they had a lot of uh, uh, possibility for people to present ideas, uh, to use uh, each other's ideas, uh, to vote on those ideas, and unfortunately the most, uh, uh, the one that had more contribution out of the whole United States that could participate was 110 uh, contribution with uh, 280 ratings. That's really not a lot. Uh, and um, if you look at uh, how those uh, Proposal. So here we are inside one of those topics, and those are all the various ideas uh, that have been uh, built. Each of those can have more than one author, even though in general they tend to have only one author. So this is something; it's not really working. And uh, and there are very few 
uh, very few votes, 60 voting and so on, but again, you have the way in which, it's ra in which they are ordered. You have uh, highest rated, uh, you have recent, uh, and then you have reshuffle. This, they are trying to get some sort of fairness uh, somehow without uh, taking away what, what was uh, present. And then they have the most rated. What's missing is the least rated, because the least rated is the <laughs> one that needs rating, not the most rated. Let's go on. So what kind of bias all those systems have? Well, first of all, one of the bias is that voters that have more times, they are normally able to bias the system. I gave the, the idea of Wikipedia, but yeah, in all of the others also, people who have more time, is uh, they can actually work a lot. They can vote on the other. They can lower the amount of votes on the ideas that are competing with them, and they, and they can actually get, uh, get their idea uh, going in front. Or uh, authors with a wider social network, we are going to get into this, uh, and authors who write their proposals before. If I write my proposal at the beginning and it's starting to gather votes in time, then it goes in the top votes, uh, and then it's very difficult to get it out. On YouTube is one extreme example, YouTube comments. If you've seen, you have two comments that are pretty much the most commented. When things get over there, it's really hard to get them out. So if you have those two guys, well, you would expect that this guy is actually able to write something for, and decide for everybody else more than this uh, other guy. Maybe in some sort, in some sense, that uh, this guy might be able to gather information from all his social circle, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We want to actually, what does it mean, Phil? We want to actually uh, evaluate proposals uh, only by their content, strictly by their content. We don't want them to be proposed, to be evaluated by the social network of the author, by the free time of the author, by the wealth of the author, I come from Italy, it's a problem that I understand, uh, by when was the proposal presented, uh, when was the proposal presented. Also, all those systems have uh, ways uh, to get uh, positive uh, feedback uh, on this, uh, uh, all those systems, uh, sorry, except Wikipedia, Wikipedia doesn't do this. Uh, you mean uh, all those system that uh, shows what are the top uh, the top uh, system and uh, and you can vote on them again and those are those generate positive feedback and uh, we don't want uh, those I will explain exactly why right now we are going through a panoramic of the whole talk but each of those will actually have a slide and uh, and then the result should not be random the result should be consistent. If we run the same thing again, we, will, we should find the same result again. So, but before we go forward, why are systems unfair? Well, first of all, positive feedbacks look good. I mean, if you have, a, if you have a one comment that has been voted by a hundred times, a hundred people or two hundred people, it looks like there's a lot of people that are actually participating in the, in the system. It doesn't matter if uh, 300 comments have not been voted uh, once, because uh, you, as the person who is making the website, will show that one comment and say, so many people actually approve, uh, approve this. Uh, so it's better to have a good enough, very popular proposal than pick the best proposal, but with only less votes. <laughs> Having a fair system is not actually very good for people who want to build a website. It's good for the users, it's good for the society. It's not good for the people who are actually building the website. And it's hard work to make a fair system. It's, that's why I'm coming here and asking you for help. And uh, no, really, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, and, uh, and permitting people to use their social network works as a form of advertisement. You can advertise uh, your, your idea. I will get advertisement about my system. So how do we get uh, this? the auto social network irrelevant. Uh, first of all, some people, when I presented this idea to people, some people started to say, oh, but maybe the social network might be good. Uh, and the people with social network have it for a reason. Maybe they represent something, so it's good that they have it. Well, let's see. And, uh, and the other one is uh, the social network only works partially. There was some testing about it with people on Twitter <coughs> suggesting things, uh, and it didn't seem that they, get, they were able to gather a lot of support. Maybe. Uh, let's see a moment. So you have Tim O'Reilly Twitter followers, and that's 1,405,000. 
about 1 million 500 and then it's my followers which is uh, about uh, 500 so this actually means that uh, team has about uh, 3041 times uh, more influence than me uh, now this is a precise number so those person is saying that uh, that this is precise the team has exactly 3050 uh, 3050 times more influence than me why exactly this number i think well i have to say the truth uh, i think this is lazy thinking I think this is not real thinking. This is this this is bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The the truth uh, is that uh, they are not really evaluating things on the content, uh, and they're just using the social network. So, and then on the other side, they say, oh, but the social network is not really that important. Uh, maybe. Well, the truth is that uh, there are more and more actors, and there are more and more social figures that are entering into politics. Uh, that are, you know, they're using their social network to get political, to get political position. So, is it that uh, this is really the best school for politics, uh, or is it that really we should try to divide social network on one side and uh, political decision or collaboration or social decision on the others, and and we should not have an uh, application on one in inside the others. So, so how do we make it irrelevant? Well, one of them is that we should make it impossible for people to advertise their proposal. In this uh, talk, you will find a lot of negative things. We should not do this. There will not be a lot of positive things. This is where you can come in after. So uh, there should be no way to send a URL. So I have the URL where I see my proposal, but if I send it to you, it should not work. You can, I can send a URL of the whole question and of all the proposal, and they can say, can you please vote on the one that you like? And if you guess which one is mine, you can vote for me. But uh, the other thing is, uh, during the voting stage, the name of the authors uh, should not be present. I vote on the content. I do not vote for the person. Of course, uh, the, the authors can still be discovered after. Whoever had the genius idea, I want to know it after the whole thing is over. And the URL can, can still be assigned, provided that when you go to that page, you cannot vote. And, and I think there is a Faustian pact on the back of this, and I spoke about it before. I mean, I, make, I give you the possibility to, to, uh, to advertise your idea, and you advertise also my system in this. And we have to get out of this pact. The independence from the amount of voter free time well, one of the things is that uh, if I give the possibility to people to do whatever they want in the system, they can really do a lot for their own good. So, who got it right? Online polls got it right. You go there, you vote for those possibilities, that's it, you cannot do much more. Slashdot got it right. You go there, you can read, but you can, you can comment, but to sign, to vote for the other's comment, you cannot do it all the time. Every now and then you're given some point, you go there, you vote, One those po once those points are gone, they are gone, and they only last for a certain amount of time. So you cannot actually uh, uh, keep those points uh, uh, within itself. Of course, it's okay for people who have a lot of free time to use this free time to write a very good proposal. This is okay. And now we are starting to get really used to this picture, you know, the long tail and um, and log log plot uh, and so on. And a lot of system wants to have this because, as I said, it looks good. It looks good to have a few elements with, which have so many things and and have uh, such a huge long tail. On the other side, uh, we something like this doesn't work very well because if someone presents a proposal before. They actually do not. Uh, they actually have a, a strong bias in favor. It's it's very easy that that proposal will win. So so it's okay that we show all the proposals, and it's okay that we show the rank. But in that in that page, when you see this, you should not be able to vote. This is something that all the websites get it wrong. They show what are the results. And they also act, uh, and they also say, oh, by the way, do you also want to vote for this? Uh, and, and that's how you get uh, hundreds and thousands of people voting for some, uh, for voting for two or three comments uh, on Twitter, and on uh, Twitter, sorry, on um, 
on uh, YouTube, uh, and then uh, so many comments that have uh, one, two, three votes. So is this one comment uh, 10,000 times better than this other one? No, it's just that it was really unfairly evaluated. And, uh, and also the number of votes, uh, when, you're, when you're evaluating, the number of votes uh, should not be present. Uh, people tend to vote for a candidate if they think it will win. I had a nice story about it, but I don't have the time to tell it right now. So another thing that we can work on is, uh, again, on the time. We've said people who, who write proposals at the beginning, they, there is a bias for them. But we don't have to present those proposals all the time. You know, we can, we can say, OK, we keep a proposal only for a certain amount of time. But what does time mean? Well, okay, it can be real time. You present a proposal now, and now for one month you are going to be evaluated. And that's it. How many points you are going to get in one month? Another possibility is uh, number of time a proposal is evaluated. You are going to be evaluated to appear 10,000 times on the page. Once those 10,000 times are over, you've gathered all the points that you could have gathered. And another one is... Uh, but then, of course, it enters another problem. What about a proposal who is presented among others? If you have in the same page different proposals, one will affect the others. There's a lot of work that has been done on, from uh, psychologists and from sociologists on this kind of work. And more on that on the, on the, on the following slides. And then, or, or, or we can just say number of site visits. You know, you're going to stay on the site available for vote for 10,000 site visits. And some of them will find you, and some of them will evaluate you, and if they don't, well, that's it. Now, this is an important thing. The evaluation changes because of the, of the interaction, because of, of, the, of what's around. So, for example, the order on which, are, on which proposals are presented, that affects the evaluation, the position on the page, the other proposal in the page. There's a lot of work that is being done on this end of it. And, uh, and the number of times a proposal is presented. There was a, there was a question, uh, for example, about the war in Iraq, where, where there was a big poll. And if you asked on the second position something like, do you think that Saddam Hussein is, is equivalent to Hitler? If you ask that as a question, later on you ask, do you agree on the war in Iraq? The, the, the fact of having the question before affected the answer to the question later on. But we actually have a control over all this. We are designing those pages so we can measure those things or put them in a, in a random way so that, so that they, do, they, they are not giving always their bias in the same direction. So it should, of course, be a good website. It should be able to scale up. It should be user friendly. And it should permit to people to build on past results. It should be collaborative from this point of view. All this while not sacrificing fairness. We believe that this is possible. So is fair collaboration a special case of fair division? Well, yes. Because what you are dividing is dividing the user attention over the possible creative ideas that are there. And if you look at it, it's a fair division. It's a way of presenting fair division. But, uh, but in fair division, there's a lot of those algorithms and creative ways where I divide the cake and you, uh, and you choose, uh, or there is a, a knife going very slowly and I cut it at a certain point and so that, that, that really remained in my mind. So we need uh, that kind of algorithm over here. We need that kind of creativity. And uh, so such a website has not been done. We believe it can be. It can be done, and, uh, and suggestions are welcome, especially creative ones. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.